Alan and Lee, congratulations to the two of you on this series. My anchor, Jen, and I absolutely love it. Alan, I love your portrayal as Jack, Reacher here, and Lee, I love that we get to see more of the character because now it's an eight hour series versus a two hour long film. And I wanted to ask you, Lee, first, is that part of the reason why you chose to focus on a series this time versus a movie? Because I love that we get more depth and into his backstory here. Yeah, exactly what you just said, word for word. I mean, it is such a luxury to do that. And I guarantee that if street, long form streaming television had been around for the last many decades, no novelist would ever choose a feature film because this is such a luxury to have eight episodes to tell the whole story because you can get it all. Not only the top level stuff, you know, the action, the suspense, all, all that stuff, but you get the quiet moments, the tender moments, and which make the action even more effective by contrast. So it's a no brainer. I love it. It's such a great format. Yeah. Alan, I know you've done several films. What did you think about doing the eight hour series here as an actor? Do you have to prep differently in preparing for a role when it's in over a course of an eight hour long production versus a two hour long film? I mean, I, I agree with Lee. I, it's a real luxury to, to, to have that amount of time to develop a character and to trust in the process and know that uh, it'll be, you know, hopefully satisfying for the audience by the time we get to the end and tell the, the breadth of that story. But uh, there's a huge foundation here for me to leap off of. Uh, and, you know, uh, an incredible work that Lee's done. And at the time it was 24 books and, um, you know, I, I, I couldn't wait to drink them in. Um, so for me, I mean, I just, I was just enjoying, you know, the, it wasn't work to me. I mean, I got to read these books for fun and uh, for work and, and, uh, and, and watching Nick Santora, our showrunner adapted to this, to the screen. I mean, I had these, uh, these great scripts to pull from too. So there was, uh, there was a lot to enjoy um, throughout the process, and it was a lot of fun seeing each new script come in and see what we got to do with it. Um, you know, I'm only as good as uh, my castmates uh, on set, and I was working with some of the finest actors and actresses I've ever worked with. Um, you know, they, you know, in this medium that we have, we can really round out those characters as well and kind of go into storylines that we may not even have time uh, to, to, to do in his books, you know, so it, it just adds another dimension uh, that, that, you know, really makes us, the, you know, we're sort of sitting at the crossroads of right time and right place. Yeah, yeah. Lee, I love that how involved you were in this series. Um, did you go to set? How often, like, did you all talk in between filmmaking? Um, and also, is there anything that you kind of learned more about the character, even though I know you've, you know, written, you know, all of these books, but while you're watching it, is there anything that you felt like you picked up on even for like a future novel for the character of Reacher? Well, we, we talked all the time. Yeah, I mean, that's something that Hollywood does, that they're great talkers. So uh, we, we talked all the time, but the pandemic thing was got in the way a little bit of how we would normally do it. You know, we're unable to travel as easily as we might have wanted to. So a lot of it was was on the phone. But what I always do, what I believe is if you if you pick the people carefully, if you make the good decisions first, in other words, who are you going to get in bed with for this project? If you do that right, then it's plain sailing from my point of view. And I did. I learned stuff about the characters. That's what I love. The, the, the intelligence of Nick Santora, the showrunner, and the actors themselves, Alan and Willa and Malcolm principally, they were putting, they were seeing things in the character that were there, but I had not articulated. I had not quite seen them myself. And that to me was uh, really the gold standard. You know, they were so into it. They were taking it so seriously and thinking about it so hard that it had to be a success. How could it fail with people like that working so well? Yeah, I, I love how the season kind of wraps up in the end. I love how we, Reacher finally gets to have his pie, by the way. I, right. loved that. <laughs> I loved that ongoing bit. So I know season two has already been greenlit, but my, my anchor Jen and I were wondering, is there going to be, you know, a whole new cast of characters for season two? Have the two of you talked about any of that yet? Alan, I want to begin with you. You know, I think we're still hung over from the champagne that we were both popping last night. It's, uh, we're still, you know, celebrating over here. Yeah. Um, no, yeah. look, we, we, this has all happened so fast. You know, I've been doing this a long time and it just, this never happens. You know, there's just always, 
so much to discuss and and um, and 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 work for in in bringing this to audiences. But it seems like everybody around the world is already sort of consumed and enjoyed this. So uh, this is all happening very quickly, and I think we. Um, you know, there's a lot of questions to be answered still, but, um, you know, more to come, you know, the fact that it's, it's been greenlit and fans can rest assured that there will be more, at least for season two, um, is exciting. I'm excited for season two, the fact that we've got it. And I'm pretty sure of, of one thing only is that Alan is going to come back as Reacher. And, <laughs> so, you know, if we got that, then that's decision number one. And I want to hear, you know, what do you think? What do readers think? What would they like to see next? That's, uh, this is their show. You know, they, they've created the success by loving it. Um, so in a sense, we're here to serve the viewer. And so, yeah, tell us what you want. Uh, yeah, I love it. I mean, I, I loved Reacher's little, you know, romantic you know, storyline in this season. I would love to see him settle down in the future, but I'm a romantic at heart. Yeah. Uh, last <laughs> question. Yeah, I mean, Alan, last question for you. I actually want to show you I'm a huge Hunger Games fan. Catching oh, there Fire. Is I know I have my yes. Mockingjay here. It's like, you know, one of my favorite book series and Catching Fire is legitimately one of my favorite movies of all time. Francis Lawrence says hello to you, by he, the way. He, uh, oh, I, he did a phenomenal yeah, job. Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, honestly, within the fandom, your portrayal as Gloss is still so iconic. I just want to get your comments on what memories and what your experience was like making that movie because so many Hunger Games fans were interested in what you had to say about your experience in that film. Oh, thank you. Well, you know, I was, it was a, you know, it was a huge project. Um, you know, uh, similar to this, you know, beloved by fans around the world. Um, and uh, I would step on set and Jen, uh, Jen Lawrence would be walking around with a gallon sized Ziploc bag full of all the candy in the world. And she's eating it and she's throwing it at you. And it was just a very lively set. And so uh, it was very, you know, it was, it was disarming in a, in a great way. Um, it was a lot of fun. It was just, you know, we, um, everybody was there to, you know, to do their job, but, you know, to, to treat each other well and have a good time. So I enjoyed that experience very much. Yeah, yeah, I love that. Well, this is going to be airing on NBC in Baltimore, and my anchor and one of my best friends, Jen Franciotti, is a huge fan of Reacher. We've been talking about it all week, and she was so excited about it. Huge fan of you as an author, Lee. So can you please give her a shout out? Her name's Jen, and she absolutely loved the show. Jen, you are the absolute best NBC person ever, not just in Baltimore. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I concur, <laughs> Thank you. It's hard, a tough act to follow, but uh, thanks. Uh, thanks for not. That, why, why? Why is Jen not here? She's such a big fan. She should be here. I know. I'm in my home office today and not in studio because of the pandemic still. So I will definitely share that shout out with her and she'll be so excited. We are both looking forward to season two so much. Congratulations again to this, uh, to the both of you on this incredible series. Thank, Thank you so much. Nice talking to you. Nice talking to you both. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.